Hey guys, Steve Welch here. Uh, hey guys, Steve Welch here. Um, just, I'm in a rental truck right now because somebody rear-ended my Tundra um, and it's over at the body shop. So um, that video will be coming very soon. I've got it on dash cam. I'm waiting for everything to be done. I'm gonna go ahead and post that video. You guys can see what happened. So, um, but I'm in this rental truck and I can tell this rental truck has been smoked in and it's been swept, right? So it, it's, it doesn't get rid of the smell. It's just, it, it makes it a little bit more tolerable. Um, I always like to tell people that I'm the worst kind of smoker. I'm an ex smoker. Um, so I've smoked in a couple of decades, but it still seems to affect me a little bit more than some people that I know. Um, but uh, I, I'm not here to scold anybody about smoking or anything like that. But it did kind of make me think that you have all these people that smoke in their vehicles and don't really realize what it does. So basically, I'll have people that'll come in with a, a car that, that smells horrible, um, especially to me, right? And they'll come in and they'll be like, you know, say you got a, a car that, you know, KBB says 30,000. Yeah, well, you're, you're not getting 30,000. The car's been smoked in. So it's, the, the question is, is, what is the true cost of smoking in a vehicle? You know, I'm not talking about the cost of the cigarettes, not talking about health. I don't, I, I mean, that, that to each his own, right? If you want to smoke, smoke. But there is actually a price that you pay to smoke in your vehicle. And that price, according to several spots that I've seen, is a, there's one spot that says 7.7%, so another spot that says 10%. So, you know, for a good, round number, let's call it 10%, right? So it costs you, let's say 10% based off of everything I see. And that's probably a pretty accurate number to having smoked in your vehicle. So um, now on a cheap car, you know, if you got a little, little, you know, thousand, two thousand dollar car, I mean, it, it really doesn't change the value. That car doesn't have a lot of value anyway. But if you're talking about some of these cars that are being sold now that have, you know, 30, 40, 50, eighty hundred thousand dollars and you go and you smoke in it if you have a, a, you know, a sixty thousand dollar car and you smoked in it you just cost yourself six thousand dollars for having smoked in that car and now keep in mind the other thing so say you have a bad car fax you had a wreck on the car that normally costs you somewhere between 10 and 20 percent right so depending on the vehicle so let's say that you've got a vehicle that drops the 20 percent and then you smoke in the car you've literally dropped that vehicle 30 percent and when you start talking about oh i have a a sixty thousand dollar car and you just dropped that thing eighteen thousand dollars because you've had a wreck and you smoked in it and then you come in and you're going well no kbb says it, you know, Kelly Blue Book, it doesn't matter what KBB says. The the vehicle isn't, you know, it, it's not specific like that. So you've lost all this value and then you're mad at me because I brought you out the fact that, you know, you lost all the value. Well, you know, let's say you didn't have the wreck though and you have that, you know, a $60,000 car or what would have been a $60,000 car. And then I bring you out a number on that $60,000 car that says 54000 and pay you 54,000 for it. And this car is worth 60,000. I've had the arguments, guys. It's not worth 60,000. You smoked in it. Well, it doesn't cost that much. It does. It literally does. And then sometimes I'll go on to the lot and I'll be with the customer. We'll open the car and it doesn't matter how clean you've tried to get it and how swept you've made it and stuff like that. You can still smell it. There are a lot of people that are extremely sensitive to it. And you'll open the door and be like, nope. And they'll shut the door. So what you've done is you've actually limited the number of people that would buy that vehicle. That's why the value is less because there's not as many people. So it might be the perfect color, perfect car, perfect miles, perfect everything. Somebody opens the door and goes, nope, not, not happening. I can't buy that car. That car smells horrible. And it's like, it might not be that bad, but to them, it smells horrible. So how do you get them to buy that car? Maybe that person you never do, but there's going to be some people that'll be okay with it, but they're going to want a discount. And you know who paid for the discount? You did. So just realize that you're paying for the discount for the next person because you smoked in the car. So like I said, I'm not, not trying to scold anybody for smoking, but there is a cost to it. And I want to make sure you know the cost 
of smoking in your car and don't get mad at me when I tell you what you know how much you've lost from smoking in your car so not a lecture just information Steve Welch here you guys have a great day we're gonna talk to you soon bye